is general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Hi, Aries. Welcome to a love reading of yours. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is the general reading, so this may or may not resonate with every Aries watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped, so feel free to switch those energies vice versa. And of course, this is a general reading, guys, okay? If you do need a personal reading, then that information is going to be down below. Overall energy we have for you is the Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm feeling a false start or I'm feeling that you want a brand new beginning with someone. You want a brand new, you're very passionate about something. Sorry. You're very passionate about someone or someone's passionate about you, but there's a delay before that new beginning happens, okay? In the past, we have the King of Cups. So yeah, there is a lot of love that you have for someone or this is someone who has a lot of love for you. But this is a very balanced energy, okay? This is not someone going overboard. Right now, if this has not happened, then coming into the current situation, as this is all predictive, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So something's going to change. Luck's going to be on your side. Things are going to be in your favor. In the near future, we have the Death in Reverse. So I feel either there's someone refusing to let you go or there's you refusing to let someone go. Okay, but with the Death in Reverse here, I'm going to clarify the cards, but I'm just going to give you, I'm just giving you an overview. With the Death in Reverse here, I also feel that this is resisting a lot of changes. Um resisting and ending to something that's already over okay now this could be a past uh, this could be a person but this is definitely something from the past okay so this could be a person this could be um a, a belief system okay but something that is just not serving you something that just doesn't make you happy okay but yeah there's a lot of resistance to let go of something what you're doing right now this is yourself aries so what are you doing right now is i think you're very angry right now queen of wands in reverse is someone very very frustrated very angry very controlling um someone in the mood to argue okay very argumentative someone jealous etc okay but this is also someone who i look at you as someone who's not wanting to put in energy into the situation okay this is also lack of action uh, in your environment is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel that there's someone here who's still, who's still not putting in the work, who's still not investing. We'll see why. But in your emotions with the magician, you're right. You're manifesting a new beginning, okay? This is the willingness. You have the skills and ability to manifest a beginning, a new beginning with this person. Or this is just you who's wanting to take action and move towards something new. Okay, it could be anything. In the outcome, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is someone who's not rushing into something, okay? Someone who's going to wait and watch before they come in rushing to talk. Or this is just a lack of forward movement. Let's see now, okay? I'm going to clarify and let's see. Why is the Ace of Wands in a word? I'm going to clarify with another deck. These cards are all just well, these cards flipped. Okay, let's do this. All right. All right. Try for the ace of wands in reverse. Why is this the overall energy for Aries? Queen of Cups. So there is a lot of love here in this situation, okay? There is someone who you love or this person loves you. We do have a true pair situation, which is the King and Queen of Cups, okay? But I feel right now, if you're wanting and looking for something stable, I think that's something that's still not coming into uh, fruition right now because this is just a lot of emotions that you both have for each other, okay? What is the Queen of Cups? Ace of Pentacles. There's someone who wants a beginning with you. Wheel of Fortune, this commitment is coming in, okay? Because either this is you who loves this person too much or this person has a lot of love for you. They're um, they're listening to their psychic guidance, they're listening to their intuition and they're coming in, okay? They're coming in. But I think it's going to be some time before they take action towards you because we have the Ace of Wands in reverse right now. This is also the lack of passion, lack of motivation, lacking the mojo to get things moving forward, okay? But this is on this person's mind. They want this with you. 
could be a new person, but I'm not getting this as a new person. I'm just getting someone who you've had a lot of false starts with. And probably now is the time where you don't want to invest into this person anymore because there's been a lot of false starts, okay? It starts quickly, ends quickly, and ultimately, if you're looking towards something stable, okay, it, it just doesn't get there. Why is the King of Cups here in the past? Two of Wands in reverse. There was someone who needed to make a decision but was indecisive. Or someone was holding back a decision, okay? This is someone who had fear of making the wrong choice. Or someone who had the fear of making changes is also what I'm getting, okay? Someone who stayed in their comfort zone and they refused to make a decision. And this could be someone who kept you stuck and stagnant for a very long time, okay? Why is the two of wands in reverse? Page of cups in reverse. You could be dealing with someone who is very, very closed off to this relationship. Actually, not the relationship. Someone who is very closed off emotionally okay someone this is someone anyways they have a very hard time opening up emotionally this is emotionally immature okay anyways they had a hard time opening up emotionally and they're in the reverse so yeah all the more okay could also be someone bratty okay someone who's unapologetic uh someone who's uh also operating from their ego or uh, someone who's just not the best when it comes to relationships I'm getting someone who's holding back their feelings, suppressing their real feelings, okay? Because they were trying to see things from a more realistic point of view. Where's the Wheel of Fortune here? King of Wands in reverse. We have so many true price situations. We again have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Again, these are in the reverse and those were in the upright. You're both backing out. You're both, this is the divine pair, but you're both it's almost like things are getting in your favor, okay? But I feel that, you know what, you're waiting for things to fall into your lap, okay? The king of wands in reverse is someone very reactive, someone who lets things happen, okay? They don't really take the first step. Also, I'm dealing, I'm feeling you're dealing with someone who's very not confident, someone who's not confident. They're lacking the confidence in them. Uh, they're not yet in that, um, in that state of mind of whether to make a decision uh, to go forward towards you or whether to hold back, okay? This is someone very indecisive. Again, two of wands in reverse, still indecisive. What is the king of wands? Why is the king of wands in reverse here? Okay, we have two cards. Seven of swords in reverse and the eight of pentacles. All right, so get it. Now I feel that you're dealing with someone who was not taking action previously with the two of wands in reverse here, okay? This person could have had a lot of love for you, but when it came to taking action towards you or when it came to creating something very solid and stable, I think that's when they're copped out, okay? So now with the wheel of fortune in reverse here, right? With the wheel of fortune here, I'm sorry. Things are coming in your favor, okay? This person's returning back, okay? This is someone who had deceived you. Doesn't have to be a third party. It could be. Doesn't have to be. I'm not seeing it here. But yeah, this is someone who tried to suppress their feelings every single time. You probably talked about something committed. Okay, this person would cop out. This person would take a step back. They would keep coming into your life. I feel this person is running in circles. Okay, every single time you gave them a chance, they came in. But when you talked about, you know, when you wanted to have the talk, that's when they tried to escape and they tried to take uh, the easy way out. Okay, but now this time they're returning back. And with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel this person genuinely wants to put in the work they want to invest into you and this is someone who really really wants to make things work out with you okay what is the death in reverse in the near future why is the death in reverse in the near future that's what i'm seeing right for the ace of wands in the current uh in the in the overall energy you have a lot of love for this person this person does too they want the ace of pentacles they want a new beginning with you but the problem here is that i'm thinking someone's thinking a lot because they don't want this to be a false start. Maybe this person just wanted fun without commitment. Or this person just wanted to have a lot of fun. Or they just wanted to see how it goes. But that's just not exactly what you were all about. Okay. There was love. There is love. I wouldn't deny that. But um, when it comes to putting something to fruition, that's when it didn't happen. All right. Clap at the death in reverse. Clap at the death in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. There's someone who's watching you from a distance. So this is the near future, okay? The near future of this connection with the death in reverse and the Page of Swords in reverse, okay? There's someone still here. I feel there's someone here from your past who's wanting to return back to you, okay? But because they're resisting an ending, they don't want to end things with you, okay? They're watching you from a distance. Watching, spying, looking. But when it comes to talking, they're keeping their mouth shut. They're keeping quiet about their moves. Maybe this person feels they're not prepared yet enough to talk to you about things, okay? But they prefer to watch. 
page of wands in reverse, you're dealing with a very immature energy. We have the king of wands in reverse, page of swords in reverse, page of wands in reverse. Okay, this is all the same energy. So I'm getting page of cups in reverse. This all comes to me as one person, okay? And because you're going through all this, right? That's why you have the queen of wands in reverse here. This is what you are doing. You're just completely backing up from taking action. You're losing your interest and passion within this person. And this person is still not ready to step up the game. They're still not ready to step up the game. They're feeling guilty. They want to work on this. But when it comes to literally coming towards you and, you know, um, telling you about things, I think that's what they're not doing. And probably you're waiting back for this person to make a move, but they're still not doing it. Why is the death in why is the page of swords and page of wands in reverse? Why is the page of swords and page of wands in reverse? The Epsi Four of Cups, they're fearing rejection. Boom. This person does not even want to end things with you, but when it comes to coming towards you, also that's also that's something that they don't want to do, okay? Because they're fearing rejection. They feel that they've screwed up a lot. They feel they've really made a lot of mess out of this, and now they don't know if you're gonna accept them back or not. They're in two minds. But when it comes to coming forward and talking to you, that's where it's breaking, okay? They want to keep tabs on you, okay? But they're just not ready to step up the game yet. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? You, I think, are the Queen of Cups and the Queen of, uh, Queen of Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, see, you're stepping back because things are not moving forward. Things are not going in your favor. You feel luck is not on your side or something just needs to change. But you're probably not seeing this change coming in because this is probably coming into the current situation which you don't see yet. Or you're just waiting for this person to take action. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is a situation that's draining you out emotionally. Okay. It's like almost like a wish that didn't come true. You could like really be in love with this person. Okay, like a lot. But um, Queen of Swords. See? So you've given this person an ultimatum. If you haven't, you will. But I'm feeling like the energy of an ultimatum. I'm feeling that uh, energy of like, you know what? I want no nonsense, no bullshit. Are we doing this or not? Are you going to come towards me? Are we Are we taking this to the next level? Are we having something solid committed? Or I mean, is it just going to be in and out, in and out, in and out? That's what I'm hearing. Because you're the queen. Look, literally queen of swords. Queen of wands in reverse. This is almost like, this to me is definitely someone, you know what? Who's had it. Like, I've had enough. I've had enough of this bullshit. I'm not going to take action anymore. I'm not going to take the entire burden of this relationship and keep taking action and keep coming towards you every time you fuck up. And here, this is clear communication. This is, tell me what I want to hear, okay? Just let's have some candid conversation. Give me logic. Let's deal with facts and logic. She's a very logical woman, right? But yeah, she's pissed off for sure. And this is what you are. This is what you're doing. And this is one of the reasons why they're in the four of, four of cups in here. This person is really scared to communicate with you. They have a very strong feeling that you're going to reject them. But then at the same time, they, they cannot even let you go. Okay? They can't even let you go. They're coming in. They're just scared. Okay. Why is the eight of pentacles in reverse? Why is the eight of pentacles in reverse? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in the house? Too many cards, baby. Give me one. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in the house? Three of Cups in the house. Because there's, okay, so in your environment, there's someone here who's um, not ready to put in the work. Because with the three of cups in reverse, if this person sees there's a third person involved here, either there are too many people involved in your relationship, okay, which is stopping this person from investing into this, or this could be someone who feels that there was a third party situation and they don't want to be a part of this, okay, they don't want to be a part of the third party situation, or Another story that I'm getting is that this person is now, right now, not focused on this relationship because this person don't, doesn't want to reconcile. This person wants some alone time. They need time to think about this. Why is the Three of Cups in... Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? I want to know why. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? King of Cups in reverse. We had the King of Cups upright in the past and now we have them in the reverse, okay? This is someone who's emotionally unavailable. 
Aries, I could also be reading for the cross watcher, okay, for sure, okay, this could definitely be a reading for the cross watchers, okay, Aries, this could definitely be you in the background, okay, and this is probably uh, the person you're dealing with, okay, who's very, very emotionally unhappy without you, and um, they see that you're not taking action, and you've reached your point, that you've reached that uh, uh that point of uh frustration okay where you literally want them to take action okay and they definitely see you as someone who's mad at them okay and you in the environment probably you're not wanting to put in or invest into this connection because this, there could have been a third party situation there could have been a third person involved here there could have been cheating involved here and now you're emotionally shut off to this person you're emotionally unavailable or you could have been even dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable why is the uh give me what is the three of cups in reverse what is this three of cups in reverse? One card, three of cups in reverse. One card. Judgment in reverse. Someone made a bad judgment call. So it could be that this person shows someone else over you or this person was just not listening to their intuition, okay? They were not listening to that higher calling, okay? This is someone, again, definitely who made a bad judgment, okay? Okay, I'm getting someone, this can be too many stories, but I'm going to give you the most, um, the ones that I think. Either there is someone here, like I said, who's not wanting to invest into this because there was a third party situation and they don't want to give something a second chance, okay? Someone does not want to repeat their mistakes, okay? And you, they could be very, very emotionally shut off to this relationship or emotionally unavailable or, or there is someone here who made a bad judgment call okay in your environment there's someone who made a bad judgment call and uh because they were emotionally unavailable they probably wanted to stick to something which was very casual which was fun without commitment or which did not have something serious you know which did not have strings attached and that's why they did they're not putting in the effort or they didn't put in the effort okay in your emotions hopes of fears you have the magician you're hoping for a brand new beginning you're wanting to manifest this relationship back or they are someone's willing to take action someone's got this feel they have everything that it takes to make this happen or this is just someone with a magician you're wanting to manifest something new i'm getting this is i i think i'm doing it for the cross watcher okay i feel that this is i feel that there's someone here who's manifesting a new beginning what is the magician Empress in reverse here. But there's a lack of growth. There's a lack of growth. Someone's not putting in the attention. Someone's Something's not growing. See, four of wands. Because it could be that there's someone who's already involved in another with another person. See, that's why the third party situation, right? Could be that there's someone already married and before they need to make this call towards you, married, engaged, or in long-term commitment, okay? So yeah, there is someone here who's wanting to manifest this relationship, but with the Empress in reverse and the Four of Wands here, right? I feel there's a lack of growth here, okay? Something's not growing, something's not expanding here because I feel there's someone who's either insecure or this is someone here who's already in a third this third party situation. They're married, engaged, committed, whatever, right? They're not happy. Maybe because that situation is also not growing. But yeah, four of wands, yeah, there's someone already here who is married or who is already in another commitment, okay? They need to let that person go before they come to you and before there's growth. What is the, uh, why is the Empress in reverse? Five of swords in reverse, yeah. Because someone needs to walk away from a from a third party situation is what I'm getting. Five of swords in reverse. Someone needs to, there has to be a compromise somewhere. Something has to give, Okay. So Aries, either you want this new beginning with this person, you want this person to commit to you, marry you, whatever, right? But this person looks like is in another situation already, like I said, and till they don't get rid of that, right? There's going to be no forward moment in your situation. There has to be a compromise somewhere. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse here the likely outcome? The three of swords did fall out. I'm not going to take it. But yeah, there is a lot of heartbreak out here. Okay. Again, I see threes. Knight of swords reverse clarified by the knight of swords. Whoever you're dealing with, Aries, either this is you or them. Right? Someone's in two minds. They have their foot on the gas and the, and the brakes at the same time. One second, they want to rush in towards you. One second, they're holding back. Which is very confused. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed with the Knight of Swords? 
Tell me why. Why is this conflicting energy? Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Swords? Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles. Oh yeah, this person definitely wants to come in and express their emotions to you, okay? This person definitely wants to give you commitment. This person definitely wants some stability towards you, okay? They're definitely coming in to offer this to you. But that's why I said, in the near future, right? You're still going to have this death in reverse, right? Because this person is very conflicted in their head. They want to come towards you. But I think before they come towards you, they've got to end that third party situation. They need to make a final decision about whether they want you or whether they want that person, okay? They want things coming towards you. That could be probably why in the past also this person couldn't have been decisive. Okay, and they were emotionally very, very shut off towards you. But yeah, this person is coming in. Not only are they coming to express their love, they're not only are they coming in with a love offer, but they're also walking in towards that stability. Okay, they're walking to do walking towards you with that commitment. They are. But they're just in two minds. That's what I get in the likely outcome. They're very wishy-washy. I ha I don't have the two of pentacles, okay? Wishy-washy as in, in the way like they're again very, very contradicted in their head, okay? Maybe their heart's saying something else, their mind's saying something else, okay? Very imbalanced energy. But they do realize with the Seven of Swords in reverse here that they don't no longer want to take that deceptive approach, okay? They don't want to be dishonest. They want to make that honest approach. They want to turn a new leaf and they want to work on this relationship. That's why the Wheel of Fortune, that's why things are going to be in your favor. But I think Aries, this is going to say, take some time before it plays out. For some of you, it could have. It depends on where you are in your storyline, okay? But I'm feeling something's going to take some time before it comes into fruition, okay? Because there is another person involved here. Another person involved. Again, Three of Cups in Reverse, okay? Three of Cups in Reverse does not always mean that it is a romantic um, situation or there is a third person romantically involved. It can also mean a friend, um, a best friend, a parent, mom, dad, anyone who's influencing this person, okay? But because I have the four of wands here, yes, again, that is a family situation, but because I'm getting that, that's why I'm telling you this person could be in a long-term commitment or a marriage. Yeah? But they're not letting you go in the end, regardless, in the near future. They're not. They're, they they, they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you, okay? Page of swords in reverse, page of wands in reverse, and they don't even want to let you go because they're fearing detection. So yeah, it's going to take some time before this person genuinely comes in and rushes in, okay? But that's the likely outcome. So yeah, I guess we're going to have to wait for a little bit, but I think they're coming in. I think what you're doing right now by holding back or taking action, right? Or if this is you who's not putting in the effort, it can be anyone, but just Aries, I think you should keep doing what you're doing. I mean, that's what I think. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. And uh, do like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.